wife's obsession with the gym escalates to the point where it takes over her entire life, even causing concern for her well-being during pregnancy. Wife, 30F, has always been fit but has been increasingly passionate about working out over the last 1.5 years, returning to a gym she had previously left due to her busy schedule. The gym slowly started taking over her schedule both weekend days, and every weekday pre- and post-work. Going to the gym becomes the solution for any stress, fights, crisis everything is gym to the point where if wife misses a session it affects her mood negatively, as Op says, like a junkie not getting her fix. As wife is now 4 mo pregnant, Op expresses concern over the intensity of her workouts and also that he simply misses her, given all her time is now taken up by Jim. They can't work out together, because Jim is her time. She won't work out at his gym, either. Jim becomes a form of escapism from real life, a compulsion, essentially and no problems wife is running away from ever really get solved because Jim is simply not the solution wife seems to think it is. Jim has become so prevalent that family members, friends start making comments on how much time wife and Jim spend together. Ocker, guy from Jim wants a paternity test so a paternity test they will get. In follow-up comments, Op reveals the results say he is in fact the father. Update 2. Op's wife? Is still pregnant, 26 weeks. Op and wife have agreed that he will be the one in the delivery room when the baby is born, and guy from Jim will not be present. Guy from Jim has a big problem with this, of course, because having an affair with and housing another man's pregnant wife simply would not be enough. Op prepares to sell the marital house and split the profit. He gets to keep their dog, thank God. Wife's sister shares with Op that wife is already complaining about Guy from Jim, that he's selfish, hangs out away from home too much, etc., birds of a feather and whatnot. Op ends the update expressing that he is at least happy his, soon to be ex, wife is miserable. I'm still alive. I'm mainly posting here because several people have reached out to me and were concerned that I'd taken my own life. No, I'm not on the brink of ending my life. I think I'm doing better than I have since all of this started. Around the time of my last post, my story blew up and I was getting messages from people who saw it on TikTok and YouTube. I had to take a step back because it was a little overwhelming. I have over 100 unread messages here. I appreciate it but it was a little uncomfortable at the time, and I got to the point where I didn't really want to talk about the situation with my wife and her AP anymore. So as of today, our baby is due in less than 10 weeks. We're in the home stretch now. I don't feel prepared at all. All of this other stuff has just been so distracting. I started working on a nursery. It's not done yet, but I have the floor finished and the walls painted. My ex-wife was impressed with the color scheme and furniture I chose. She's not legally my ex-wife yet, but I've started calling her that. It sort of makes it easier. I also packed up a bunch of her stuff. Originally I, refused to spend my time packing up her things, but eventually just said screw it and started packing it. I'm at the point where it'll just be easier to not see all of her stuff around here. Why did I leave it for so long? She came over to get some of the boxes I packed up. She came alone. Things were fine between us. I loaded the stuff into her car. We didn't argue. At one point she started to tear up and said she fucked up. I said yeah she did, but there's no point talking about it now. She shit all over our marriage. She has her muscle-bound asshole to go home to now anyway so who cares. She said I know, but it's not the same. I told her nothing has been the same since she decided to fuck him the first time. Supposedly he's going to let me be in the delivery room when my baby is born. I didn't even argue it when she said it like that, but inside I was boiling at the idea of him letting me be there for the birth of my child. She says she talked to him and he agreed it wouldn't really be right to not allow me to be there. I'm going to take what I can get if it means being there for the birth of my child. I'm going to try to just ignore him for the time being. She was acting all sweet and laying on all of the I really want you there. I really need you there stuff and I know mentally I'm not in a place to be that cold to her when she starts acting that way. I'm trying to be indifferent more than anything else but it's so hard when she's actually around and starts looking at me a certain way and making me feel bad. She invited me over to see the nursery they have set up at his house. I'm not sure I can bring myself to go into another man's house and look at the nursery set up for my kid. I did ask her if she was truly safe there though. I don't know why, it's just been bothering me. As pissed as I still am, I don't want to find out he's mistreating her and I definitely don't want my kid to be going into an unsafe household. I haven't told her about anything, her sister has told me. They probably won't last but as of right now there's a very good chance my newborn baby will be going home to his house. It kills me to think about. It's almost soul destroying to think about if I dwell on it too long. She says she's fine. He genuinely loves her. He's great with kids. He accepts that she's having a baby and that this is part of the package. She insists it's not weird because she wasn't pregnant when anything started between them. I asked her why she did it, why did she ever let anything start between them in the first place? She said I don't know. Then went into I don't want to talk about this mode and left pretty soon after. Typical behavior from her, just run away. Overall I'm doing okay. I'm not sitting here depressed and drinking a bottle of scotch every night anymore. I mean on occasion, but for the most part no. I feel more used to my new normal now, and that'll all change yet again pretty soon. There is a draft of a custody plan now, but the court won't approve anything until after the baby is born.
Right now she's in agreement but there's plenty of time for her to change her mind, or for him to convince her to change her mind. She plans to breastfeed, but with agreement that she'll pump and the baby can drink from a bottle when not with mom. Everything I've read says a baby ideally needs to spend time with each parent frequently, without gaps that are too long in between, and it's best if each parent is feeding, changing, bathing, etc. during their time. At this time she's in agreement with all of this. I can say that she's not said or done anything to indicate she wants to restrict my time with a baby, other than the whole delivery room thing. She seems to want me to be involved in that respect. I hope she sticks to her word. If not, I will be fighting it through legal means. I have a baby. A little girl. I'm a dad. She was born yesterday at 11.57 p.m., two weeks early. As he's done before, she was having some pains off and on and he left for work yesterday morning. She works from home on Mondays. She told me around 8.30 a.m. she was having contractions 17 minutes apart. The same thing happened not long ago but then by evening all the pain stopped. I was at work so I told her to keep me posted. A little later she said they were 15 minutes apart and she had some other signs it might be actual labor starting. I asked her if she needed somebody there with her. She said wanted me to come be with her. I didn't even mean to volunteer myself. She was scared. I didn't even ask why she didn't call him. I left work and went over to his house. Uncomfortable doesn't begin to describe it, but there were obviously more important things going on. He wasn't there. She didn't even contact him. She said she just wanted it to be me and her there. In her words, he hadn't seen her pee or shit herself yet but I've witnessed all of that stuff already so she was more comfortable with me there. I really tried to be as nice and supportive as possible. Set the whole thing about her affair, our marriage, everything to the side for a brief time. I don't really know what my purpose was being there but I think she just needed somebody there so she didn't feel alone. She spent most of the time stretching and doing some sort of yoga labor routine and bouncing on this huge exercise ball. I twiddled my thumbs for the most part and looked through a bunch of his belongings. I was timing the contractions and they were consistent and slowly did get closer together, so I thought it was probably actually going to happen. It wasn't nearly far enough along to go to the hospital yet and it was getting close to when he'd get home. I was planning how I'd handle that when she called me into the bathroom to ask her if I thought her water broke. It wasn't like in the movies with this huge gush of water. So he got home and I was there. He came into the house and the first thing he asked is what are you doing he, re? I think he thought something else was going on. No, you just left and went to work and left her alone when she was scared. He said he was home and he'd be with her until it was time to go to the hospital. He put his hand on my shoulder and said something like, thanks, bud, I got it from here and we'll call you when we're on the way to the hospital. He called me bud. I told him I wasn't his fucking buddy and to fuck off. I could tell she wanted me to leave. I'm not sure she really wanted me to leave so much as she was in labor and the tension between the two of us wasn't what she needed and I knew that. It was his house so what was I supposed to do? I left and prayed they'd actually call me instead of letting me know the next day that my kid had been born. She texted me a few hours later to say the doctor told her to go to the hospital. At that point I still didn't know if I was going to be waiting outside or what he'd decide was best for his apparent wife and child. I was allowed to be in the room. I didn't force my way in there. She said she wanted me to be there. He was there too. By far the single most awkward experience of my life and the only reason I was able to excuse it was because she told me she wanted me there and I didn't want to miss the chance to be there when my kid was born and to hold my kid before he did. I can't imagine what the doctors and nurses were thinking. Fucking humiliating. Then the guy tried to police what I could see. I put the baby in there. He's fucking watching and it's like this is still my wife and that's my baby. I chose to stay dignified and I ignored him the entire time. I was there to do whatever she told me to do and my focus wasn't on him, but in any other setting I don't think I would have been able to hold back. The baby came flying out. I mean, as far as labor goes. These are the nurse's words and I trust labor and delivery nurses to know what they're talking about. She tore very bad because the baby came out s. fast. The baby is so tiny, barely 6 pounds and only 18 inches, but perfectly healthy. I went home for a short rest although I really couldn't rest at all. I went back today and of course he was there. Surprisingly he said he was going to give us some time alone with the baby. Not sure if she had previously asked him to do that when I showed up or not, didn't ask. He even brought us all food back when he returned a few hours later. I wondered if mine might be poisoned but I tried to be nice. He's still not gone so I'm wondering how long he'll be around. I just can't let myself do anything that will make her try to keep me away from my daughter now. I don't want them making it difficult for me. I'd prefer not to share her name publicly but I can confirm it's the name we chose for a daughter years ago. He had no say and he hasn't said anything about the name at all. It kills me to see him holding her though. I eventually left because it was just too much sitting there pretending to be like some bizarre threes company. I'll know I will get my time with her when he's not around. He's already posting them on his social media. I don't know how I'm going to do this but I'm going to figure it out. I just have to find a way to be the bigger person because I won't let him or their relationship discourage me from being my daughter's dad. I totally get doing anything for your kids now and if it means having to pretend to get along with him, I will it's not about pick me. I just have a hard time not caring about her anymore. The fact that she was carrying my child made it a lot more difficult. 
otherwise, I could have and would have cut all ties with her. I don't know, still feel the need to protect her or help her. Hopefully it'll get easier now that she and the baby are two separate people. Honestly, I'm considering doing something pretty stupid. She's getting discharged from the hospital early tomorrow morning. I don't want them to go home with him, so thinking Abu, he asking her to come home to our house instead. It's ridiculous and setting us up for disaster. It wouldn't be to be with her. I don't want my newborn baby going home to another man's house. I don't think it's for the baby's sake that I want to stop it. It's be for my sake. But it's not like we'd be divorced and living together forever. So, we'd live together for some period of time but eventually we'd go our separate ways, date other people, and so on. I can't trust her again. That would probably be worse for our kid in the long run. At least by being in two separate homes in the first place this will just be the norm for her and she won't have to go through that heartache of being one family splitting into two. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to handle seeing my child going home from the hospital to his house. I'm honestly scared to be present when they're discharged because I'm not sure I can control myself. I caved and I asked her to come home with me when they was discharged from the hospital. I framed it more like if you don't want to go home with him, you don't have to. I let her know she could come home to our house if she wanted to. She said she can't. Why? Because he's done so much for her. He moved her into his house. They have a whole nursery set up. He loves her. I don't love her anymore after what she did, her words, but he loves her and accepts her even with a baby. She thinks she'll never find anyone who will love her and love our baby too so she can't risk losing him. I tried to tell her she doesn't owe him anything. Just because he let her move in and there's a nursery there doesn't mean she's indebted to him, especially not when it comes to something this big. She said I want to, but I just can't. I'm sorry. I left. I told her I couldn't sit there and watch the get into his car and go to his house. As a consolation I got a you can come over and see her tomorrow. Great. I know she did this. This is all her doing, but why am I the one feeling like I failed? This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't immediately shut her out. I basically just pushed her to him. Today I told him he can't post pictures of her online. He said he was just posting a few pictures to say how proud and happy he was of my wife, wasn't weird. I said he can post her all he wants but he can't post the baby. He didn't seem to be taking it seriously so I told him I know he wishes he'd won this one, but he didn't. She's my kid, not his. If he's genuine about being all buddy-buddy and respecting me as the actual father, he'll respect my request. He said okay, he understood. We'll see. Update 3. Many people have asked for an update on my situation, but I've been pretty busy. There's the baby, plus a week of completely unrelated but never-ending annoying problems. Remember that book Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day? That's the week I've been having, but I'm not even going to get into it beyond saying I can't even stay at my own house right now due to a giant hole in the wall. I've been dealing with insurance and contractors all day, and they hit a water pipe. I'm still on paternity leave and continue to regularly spend time with my daughter. We have a set schedule for when my daughter comes to stay with me, so I've been spending less time over at his house. Sometimes my wife needs help during the day though, or just to be able to take a shower or a nap, so I will stop over to help her. Really, I just want to take advantage of any opportunity I can to spend time with her my baby and bond with her. Plus, breastfeeding isn't working out very well. She's still not producing enough milk and I know she's upset about it but it sort of makes things easier for me. At least she has help when the baby is with her, supposedly he helps, gets up at night, etc., I'm on my own, and I won't lie and say it's a walk in the park, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. The other day she called me an ass get me to come over. She said she was on the verge of a mental breakdown. I've heard that line from her many times, when she was cheated on me without my knowledge, and it was usually mostly related to her job. I got over there and she was saying she can't handle being a mom, she can't handle life, she can't function. She was crying. This time she couldn't run off to the gym. She would if she could but she's not really allowed to exercise yet. She won't talk to anyone, won't seek professional help. Some days she seems much better than others. She's just an easily overwhelmed person everything overwhelms her. Sometimes we have, dare I say, a good time together. The most she can really go as far as physical activity right now is walk. We took the baby in her longest walk yet and walked from his house to my house. Everything was fine in the walk. She was in a good mood. We were joking around. Then she turned really sad after being at my house slash our former shared house after a little while. She finally admitted that this isn't how it's supposed to be, raising our daughter between two homes. She said my home is our daughter's real home and she's only supposed to have one home. Then she started sobbing about not having a home anymore. My house isn't her home and her boyfriend Gumbro's house isn't her home and she's essentially homeless and doesn't belong anywhere. She admitted she fucked up really badly and she doesn't want to share custody or to only see her daughter half the time. She just wants to come home but she loves him and she thinks he loves her and our daughter and she doesn't want to hurt him after he's done all this for her. I said so what? What she wants for her kid should be more important than his feelings. If he can't get over the fact that the married, pregnant woman who he was sleeping with wants her kid to grow up in a single home with her actual father, he can fuck off. He can fuck off anyway. If she can't tell him and wants me to tell him, I why, ll. 
She doesn't think she can tell him. I told her this is her biggest issue, communication and honesty. Just tell people the truth and stop being a pussy about ever telling anyone the truth about how you really feel. Thing is, I've been tolerating him lately. Don't like him, but tolerate him. I'm not hanging out with him. Ever. I know it sounds crazy coming from me, but I think he's genuinely in this. Still shouldn't have been fucking my wife. Doesn't absolve him of any of his involvement. He's back to being cloyingly nice to me. Suggesting we hang out, try to be friends. He's so fucking happy all the time. It's a little unsettling but I think he's just one of those people and maybe that's what she likes about him. I'm not one of those people, never will be. So anyway, she and I sort of got into an argument, started as a discussion, turned into an argument, then morphed back to a discussion, all about everything we don't like about each other in our relationship. In the end, we were both able to say what we need from the other person. She's just too overwhelmed right now and can't make any changes. She can't handle trying to change right now. It gives her too much anxiety. So, I don't know. We're sort of at an impasse right now. Then this stuff with the house, I've just been extra stressed and not really all that pleasant to deal with. This month continues to be the strangest I've ever experienced. The repairs to my house were made and I'm back home, thankfully. I can only take a few nights under my parents' roof. I slept with somebody else. We went out on a date. I think we both just wanted to have sex to say we'd finally gotten over our former spouses. She's the ex-wife of a friend of mine. She and I are actually closer slash better friends now than her ex-husband and I several people have suggested that we start dating each other. We get along great and we are on the surface a really good match, but it was too fucking weird for both of us. She's very attractive, very social and fun to be around, and has been incredibly kind to me during this whole ordeal, but I can't see her as more than a friend. I had been intentionally avoiding sleeping with anyone else. I hadn't been with anyone since the last time I slept with my wife. That feels like an eternity ago. For the longest time I wasn't interested in being with other women. Then, it sort of morphed into my way of feeling morally superior to her. I was going to hold out and not pursue anything until after we were divorced. It's pretty pointless and childish. Just a dumb way to make myself feel better and to be able to say I never cheated. I still don't feel like I cheated, there is no marriage anymore. Within hours of this happening, I started getting texts from my wife saying she decided she wants to come home. It's like she had some sort of with sense. She was saying she was ready, would I come help her? I called her and told her I don't want her to come home and to be in a relationship again. She doesn't get to just decide that's what's going to happen. She then started to say oh I know, I just meant move back in. I told her I didn't really believe her and felt like she was just jerking me around again. She said she thought our conversation the other day had gone so well and that she thought we seemed to be at a place where we could really work on fixing everything, but until then she could live in another room. She said she was completely serious about it and she wants our daughter to be in one home. I feel so mixed about everything, but ultimately I want my daughter living in my house 24-7 and I don't want another man helping to raise her, so I took the bait. Today I showed up at his house to help remove some things, but I anticipated I'd get there and she'd either have changed her mind or she wouldn't have been planning to leave at all and was only waiting to see me do some more tricks for her. They were arguing when I got there. The baby was crying, she was see, crying and running around packing things in bags, and he was following behind her begging her to stay, offering to do anything to make her stay. He accused me of this being my idea. Maybe it was, Ike. I don't really care what he thinks. It was obvious she had just sprung this news on him shortly before I got there. She was telling her over and over that she just wants her child raised in one home and that his home wasn't really their home and she was sorry she was doing this to him after everything he'd done but she just has to give our daughter one home with her real father. We got back over to my house and she's obviously an emotional mess. I have no room prepared for her. Not 15 minutes later he shows up at the front door. She didn't want to talk to him. He wouldn't give up and eventually he was there on the front porch loudly saying things like that's not what you were saying when you were blowing me last night. So at that point, after I'm sure our neighbors had been enjoying this embarrassing scene long enough, I told him if he didn't leave I'd call the cops. I went out there and tried to calm him down, I mean, I had to sympathize with him, she runs away, that's what she does. I may have said a few other things in my own favor and to make him realize he doesn't want to be involved in this mess that is my wife. I don't think he'll give up so easily. It sounds terrible, but once she was at my house I sort of found myself wishing she'd leave with him. I know I'd had wanted her to come home, and I'd tell myself it was mostly due to the baby, but now I'm wondering what the hell I've gotten myself into. She said I didn't really blow him last night. I haven't done anything with him since she was born. I've only been thinking about you. I told her yeah right, you expect me to believe it? Even if it's true, what on earth makes you think I'd ever believe anything that you say? Then out of spite I told her I slept with somebody else. I know I only told her to hurt her, and I feel bad about it now. She immediately demanded to know who. I told her it wasn't her business. She claims it is her business because we're still married. Nope, I'm not sharing. So, now we're awkwardly existing. I don't have much faith that she's going to stay here. I think she'll be back at his place within the week. I've told her that he's not allowed over here. He has no business being here. 
And if we're raising our daughter in the same house, together, then she can't just run off to his house to be with him whenever she feels like it, it won't work that way. She says she knows, and she wants me to want to be with her again and she'll prove to me she can be a good partner. She tried to kiss me and I rejected her. She's upset. She's taking a nap now. I feel like I've dug myself into a very deep hole now. 